why do men usually miss women's signals of interest? There's also the other side of missing women's signals of disinterest, but this video is going to be focused on the positive because I think it's actually the more prevalent problem. I would say that on average, more men are hesitating to actually make moves on girls than men are um, making moves on girls who are definitely not interested. There are men out there who do that, but I would say that it's a fraction of the other side, which is men just need to go for it because women are giving out signals, but they're missing it, right? But why? Why are they missing women's signals? Are women just hard to read? Are they hard to understand? No, they're just different, right? It's not necessarily difficult. It's just different. A lot of times women are being pretty obvious. It's just that men aren't either paying attention or they're not educated in how women are communicating. But men also communicate subtly and indirectly. Not every man is super direct. I mean, I could go into all these stories about men just being just as whatever, gossipy and feminine as, as women are even more so, right? So I think to a certain extent, it is a little bit of a stereotype that men are direct and women are indirect. Um, but there is some truth to it as well. So we do have to be educated on uh, how women are communicating, all right? But we also have to pay attention. And I think that a lot of men think they're paying attention, but they're not actually. They're not looking with their eyes, okay? And I have some recent examples of some clients, one being a total beginner and the other being, you know, he's actually got some experience totally missing obvious signals that they didn't see as flirting or they didn't see it, like they thought it was a here level flirting, but really it was her saying this, okay? So the short version is you're not paying attention or you're not educated in what actually is flirting and then the ways that the this ignorant manifests is you don't know she's flirting or you do think she's flirting, but it's more than you think, right? You think she's flirting at a six, but she's really flirting at an eight. So I have two stories that can really illustrate this. And then we'll go over um, some ways that you can, I mean, I can't go over every single way a woman flirts. <laughs> That's impossible, right? But I'll give you some strategies um, to counteract this tendency to be hesitant and then basically i'm going to tell you to be more bold it's not fucking rocket science right but there is some nuance there and i'm going to give you yeah i'm just going to give you a way to start acting more boldly so that you can test whether or not it actually was a sign or not because you might be wrong sometimes too uh, but for the most part there's not a lot of negative negative you know bad things that'll happen because you just go for it like you ask a girl out or you try to go for a kiss like you know, you're not going to like traumatize anyone. The only person who might get traumatized is you because you're afraid of uh, rejection. But there's really nothing wrong with just going for it, right? Um, within certain obvious common sense limits. So the first story happened earlier this week. And this client is very new. Uh, I don't think he's ever even kissed a girl, let alone, you know, he's being, or he hasn't had sex, let alone even kissed a girl. And, um, he had met this girl. How do I? I got to be a little bit vague. Um, he works in the film industry. And this woman had worked with him at a certain point, And she had made it pretty obvious she was flirting. He picked up on that at least. But he wasn't realizing just how much of a flirt it was when she was doing certain things. Like one time in the taxi, she rested her head on his shoulders. And then I think they held hands. And I was like, why didn't you just kiss her? You know, things like that. But again, he's very new um, and he tends to idealize and romanticize situations. But he eventually messed it up with her because he just didn't pull the trigger. And so she kind of disappeared for a couple months. And then recently she came back and they started chatting and um, she met him at um, their office. And it's a pretty conservative country. Or his area is super conservative. The country has different areas um, that are a bit more liberal or more conservative. He's in a more conservative area. And so for her to meet him one-on-one -on -one in an office is not only, like, outside the norms of, like, the culture, but it's also just, I mean, a girl meeting you in an office would be a sign anywhere that she's interested in you, right? So the context was already pretty heavily obvious. Okay, I'm going to be using the word obvious a lot here. Apparent. 
and uh, self-evident is another way to put it. I should diversify my, my words in this <laughs> video a bit. And they were hanging out, and she did a lot of typical things that you might think, like playing with her hair, and he's like, is that a sign? Is this a sign? Is that a sign? Because he didn't end up making a move on her. And I was like, I told him, I said, you should watch for her signals and her body language, obviously, right? You don't want, you want to just work on zero information. But just the fact that she's meeting you alone, right, and it's not a work-related thing because now they finish working together uh, is demonstrative, fancy word, of, it basically just means demonstrating, right? of her being somewhat interested, right? Like a girl ho going home with you, it doesn't mean you're gonna get sex, right? And it doesn't guarantee sex and blah, blah, blah. That's understood. But it's a pretty good sign that she's interested in something happening, right? So she's hanging out with you alone. I'm like, all right, well, just based on that, I would at least go for the kiss once, right? But he's new. So he's overthinking it. Is this a sign? Is that a sign? Well, then he tells me at one point, <laughs> really laughing at this, She's uh, she also does modeling and she's like, I um I was going to do some modeling soon and I was thinking I could do some lingerie modeling and if you want I can do some for you and I can even show a lot more cleavage with you. She said this like some of you might be fucking face palm forehead, right? Uh and, and I was kind of confused as like what about this don't you understand is flirting? And he didn't really have a good answer for it, right? And then she said other things like, you made me feel very comfortable when we work together because not everyone in this industry makes me feel very comfortable. Um, she offered to cook for him sometime. Um, she was like asking him, did you eat? Are you like being very, you know, uh, womanly, feminine and, and wanting to serve you and, and, you know, just making that male woman dynamic very strong. And I was like, I mean just the lingerie picks like statement is enough right everything else is just fucking whipped cream and cherries on top w what the fuck are you missing and i kind of had to chastise him a little bit i was like dude how many videos and articles have you read and he's like oh, who the fuck knows how much i'm like exactly right this is why we say it doesn't matter how much you read or watch until you're actually having an experience with a girl you can't connect the dots, right? So this is why we emphasize actually fucking getting experience because you were in it and every article and video would tell you that this is a sign and you were too fucking stupid to go for it. And I had to let him know, like, this is the real education. The rest of the stuff just helps you look back and figure out what you did wrong or put dots together, right? But the real education is being there. And, you know, he, he kind of got the point. But what's funny is I had another client who is much more advanced. I mean, he's been with like 20 something girls and he's been really going hard this year. I mean, he's been coaching with me for like seven months now. No. Yeah, seven months straight. And, uh, and if you're interested in coaching, look in the description below and there should be a link where you can sign up for a consultation for me uh, with me and we'll discuss coaching and see if it's right for you. Anyways, he's been a long-term client now, and he was on a date with this girl, and he had recorded it on his Apple Watch so I could, you know, kind of see what's going on, and as soon as I pressed play and started listening, I was like, wow, her voice is really flirty. Now, some girls just have a more flirtatious sexual voice, um, but even then, like, if they are like that, then you just need to take it as a signal and go, right? And then if you meet resistance, then you can go, okay, uh, all right, so she's, you know, she's having reservations or she's playing a game. You, you got to figure out exactly what's going on. But, uh, I mean, just off the bat, she's just flirty with the way she talks. If you've never heard a woman kind of be sensual and kind of like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, yeah, oh, I've never done that. That, you know, that sounds so nice. Like, she's playing up the femininity in her voice and being more sweet and submissive with her tonality. Um, or even kind of ditzy. It's usually a sign a girl's interested, right? But right off the bat, I'm like, you're missing it. He's like, no, I mean, I can see she's interested. And his problem was not seeing signs of interest or not not seeing signs of interest. His problem was thinking it's here, but it's really here. 
Now, there's a reason why it's all because he hasn't quite adjusted to his level yet. I think he's made a lot of progress, but he doesn't realize it. So he has to go through some self-reflection and realize that he's actually pretty attractive to women now. But his ego and pride haven't caught up to it, which they actually need to. It's a, it's a helpful pride and ego. Um, but the, the kicker was this. So I was like, okay, yeah, I can see how you might be not realizing the level of interest she has just with her tonality. So I skipped ahead to later, and I was like, okay, I wonder if he lost her. Like, is her demeanor going to change? And later on the date, I just like skipped over like 30 minutes. She was actually more interested. And I was like, okay, you're doing even better now. She's being more cutesy wootsy with her voice, right? Because you could always play off before she's just a flirty kind of girl, which some girls are like that. But now she's even being more flirty, right? They might have been drinking a little bit, so maybe she's just kind of letting it fly a bit. But now it's obvious. And then he stops me. He's like, oh, yeah, by the way, we're at a different bar now at this part of the recording. And uh, actually, while we were moving from the first bar to the second bar, when we got outside, um, she hooked her arm into my arm. And I and I kind of looked at him like this for a second. And then I just like, I, I, I face palmed and I took off my headset. I was like, God damn it. The fuck do you need? Right. And I was like, dude, do you need like a big Las Vegas neon light sign to tell you that this girl wants to suck your fucking dick? Like, what's going on, man? And he's like, is that that big of a sign? I'm like, dude, like she chose to like wrap her arm around yours. I mean, it'd be like her holding your hand. Like women aren't usually the proactive pursuers in a seduction, right? Even when, when a girl really likes you, it just means she's more receptive to a lot of your advances, right? But when girls start playing the proactive role in a seduction, that is a huge sign of interest and you need to take it and just roll with it right and i was like why didn't you just like as soon as she did that i would have said actually you know what we can you know go back to my place and have a drink there right or something right let's you know let's skip the second bar and go here and i was like how far is your place he's like a couple minutes walk and i'm like dude like good on you first of all picking a date spot that's close to your house is like great right logistics um but at the same time, go fuck yourself because, holy shit, dude, why didn't you just pull? And he kind of realized how, um, you know, he's, he's really what was going on. And I figured it out was that, again, he his game is actually getting to here, but he still believes he's here. He still thinks he's this uh, kind of low value guy. And he, again, his pride and ego haven't caught up to him. And that's a whole nother video that's definitely worth making. And I, and I will cover it. Um, but his issue was, wasn't realizing that a signal that he thinks is here is actually meaning here. And what I was telling him is like, dude, I work off even less signals than that. Like, I just need a little bit of blood in the water. And I'm like fucking shark wing through the water. And I'm like, I'm going to go for it. Right. I'm going to, if a girl, you know, gives me a little bit of a flirt while I'm talking to her, I'm going to ask her out on a date. Boom. She's interested. If, you know, a girl even starts to flirt with me a little bit on the while we're on the date, I'm going to go, okay, I think this girl wants to smash, right? And so I'm like, I'm going to try and take her home or I'm going to try and kiss her, right? I'm going to take a little and at least go for it, right? Obviously, it doesn't need to be fucking said, but some retard is going to watch this and go, oh, so you're just going to make a move whenever. Clearly and obviously, like if I meet a point of reservations, I'm gonna stop and wait to see how you know, like, oh, okay, she doesn't want to kiss me, then okay, we know we can circle back in 10 minutes and see how she's feeling about that proposition later, or you know, maybe we need to talk, maybe she's back home with me and we're fooling around, and you know, she doesn't want to go any further, okay, cool, maybe we can talk about it, have a conversation about it. It shouldn't need to be said, but again, there's a retard out there who needs that to be said, um. But I'm I'm going to at least go for things, right? And I'm going to believe it the first time I see it. And the reason is because I've been there so many times where I was like, oh, you know, pussyfooting around, double thinking it. And then I don't go for it. And then all of a sudden she's gone. And I'm like, well, it isn't anything I did that was wrong because clearly she was super interested. It's empirically verifiable that she was clearly interested in me. 
So if it's not something you did that caused the rejection, it must have been something you didn't do, which namely is making a move. And girls can get frustrated that you didn't make a move, right? Um, because to them, they're like, I clearly was putting out a signal either for doing consciously or unconsciously, though I think women are a bit more conscious than you think they are or how much they're willing to admit. Because once you kind of corner women with these uh, investigation questions, like, are you like always like, kind of putting it on and choosing what you're going to do and how you're going to act. If you eventually put them in a corner, they'll be like, yeah, I'm kind of more aware, you know, of what I'm doing than maybe I, I will initially put on. Right. Um, if you've never had those really frank conversations with women, uh, then you won't believe that. But women are far more conscious about what they're doing than you probably think. But occasionally they might, you know, just like kind of passively be giving you signals and not be totally self-aware of it. But even in that case, when it doesn't work out with you, they're just going to reflect on the seduction and go, oh, you know, I was kind of liking him. And then, you know, I don't know. And they're not going to be able to pinpoint it was because we didn't go further. So oh, there was all this interest and build up, like in a movie. And then it was just like, beep, there wasn't any climax. You ever had a movie just like abruptly ends and you're like, where's the conclusion? Where is the resolution? Where is the this? Where is the that? And it's like so fucking disappointing. And you're like, I just sat here for an hour and a half and you had me emotionally compelled and then nothing. Same thing with, with the seduction. So you had two levels here, a guy totally new and a guy more advanced, but they both fucked it up. What's the issue? Like I said, you're either not seeing that something is a signal Right? And again, I'm not just going to list 100 things. Right, um, I can do that in a different video. I'm trying to teach you to educate yourself on how to react so you can learn these signals yourself and not just have a list. Because like I said with the first guy, just having a list isn't going to do it for you. You're gonna, your, your brain is going to turn into mush when you got a nice pair of titties just staring at you in front of you. In the, uh, in the, uh, yeah. What was that article or video? Uh... No, you got to act. So when you're in the moment with a girl, you need to ask yourself, okay, is this a signal and how much is it communicating? Is it communicating this level of interest or that or this, right? And the way that you can start testing this is first, just in general, you're going to have to be more bold, okay? You're going to have to test if these things are signals or not, you know? You can't just do it in your mind and you don't really lose anything, okay? So ask the girl out. You never really get anything bad from asking a girl out. The only time we're asking a girl out might need to be debated or not is if you're in a social circle situation where you're going to be coming there a lot. Um, maybe like a gym or a friend group or, you know, a group, whatever. Some group activity that you do every fucking week or work, right? There you do need to realize that if you go for the ask out, it, people are going to find out and then if it passes you get you get value and if you get rejected it lowers value that's just how it is you can hate on it all you want that's how fucking reputation and status works um just look over anything in the internet and all these scandals and dramas that happen in every fucking corner of the world it's pretty much just x person tried this and they failed and so they look shitty or they they won this whether it's like a fighting competition you know ufc or it's like some celebrity gossip, you know, this person tried to get with this person or got rejected, da, da, da. It's all about fucking gain and loss and gain and loss, right? Um, but if you're not in one of those situations, just fucking go for it. You don't really lose anything. If you're on a date with a girl, try and ask her to go home with you or try to go for a kiss or just try to, like, offer your arm, right? Whatever level you're at, just try and go here, right? I'm not saying, this is where I would be careful. I'm not saying you're, like, this total fucking loser and then, like, all right, I, I want you to just like start grabbing girls by the pussy or some shit like that. No, that's not what I'm fucking saying, okay? And and, and, don't, and don't be a retard and misinterpret it. If you're here, you know, let's say you've never even kissed a girl. Okay, try and go for a kiss on the date. It's where you're at. If you're a guy who's getting laid a lot and he can read signals a bit, he's just not quite getting the same level of, of success that he would like, then... Then I need you to start like taking that to the next level. Try and ask a girl home on the first date every date. That's what I told this guy. I was like, just go for it. You're going to lose some girls, okay? Um, but I think you're going to be more surprised in the end by your results because I asked him, I, the more advanced guy, I said, 
what's your fastest leg? Like, how? what's the fastest you've had, like, a date, and then you pull around and have sex with her? He's like, I don't know, two hours. Like, Jesus, you need to pedal to the pedal, right? I've, I, the fastest I ever had was I fucked her on 30 seconds. I've probably told this story a thousand times, but basically a friend of mine, a girl, wanted to introduce me to another friend of hers who she thought we would, you know, have some good chemistry and fuck, basically. And that night, uh, the one, this, the girl who was supposed to be introduced to me walked up to me and said, hey, you're Hector, right? I was like, oh, hey, yeah, are you this? And she's like, yeah, that's my name. Uh, Sam really wanted us to meet, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Awesome. Start making out. And then I just grab her hand, pull her to the bedroom, and we have sex, right? 30-ish seconds. It might have been 45 seconds, right? I don't know exactly, but let's just say 30 for the sake of drama. But it was fast as fuck. Other times, it's like five minutes. Other times, it was 15 minutes or 30 minutes or, you know, all sorts of things have happened, okay? Or you meet, I literally meet a girl and start making out with her immediately. That's happened too. Um, this guy hasn't done shit like that. So I was like, you need to see this stuff happen. So just go for it. Try and invite a girl home in 30, 30 minutes. See what happens. I think you could actually get some success. Because he's operating at this level, but he thinks he's operating at this level. So I need him to start acting like this level, which means just move faster. right? So acting more boldly. If you're a bit newer, and then if you're more experienced, act more boldly, but like, on another level, right? So try to get laid in 30 minutes. Um, try to, um, you know, make out with like five girls at the bar that night. Like set yourself some fucking challenges. Do something. Because I asked that guy, I was like, have you ever been in this situation where like you're making out with all these girls at a party and they're all like coming out up to you and like all the other girls are staring at you and thirsty for you? It's like, no, I've never really been in that like cool guy situation. Like, okay, that's why. You, you've been kind of isolated in these single circumstances, but you never really had that status, I guess, of being like the cool guy at college or high school, right? Because I wasn't a cool guy in high school, but I was the cool guy in college. So I got to have that experience. And I guess that kind of put it in my mind that I am that guy. So that identity is pretty firmly entrenched and you can't take that away from me. It's just something that happened. Um, you can think it's arrogant or whatever, narcissistic, but just the way it is. And to a certain extent, you have to have that mentality if you want to be successful because you have to believe you can succeed. Uh, but you're not going to get there unless you start taking action. So you're misreading women's signals because you're not testing them. You have to actually test them. And then once you test them and you get the negative and positive feedback to confirm or deny your assumptions, that's when you start getting knowledge. And then once you start getting successes, you get confidence. Confidence come from, comes from success. You can't just manifest confidence out of nowhere. Um, so, yeah. Now, you can do lists of, uh, like, approach invitations, right? Um, or signals that women are not interested as well. And I actually have them in my Meet Girls Everywhere course. So it's in the module, like one of the video modules. I think it's like module number three or four. And I go over a bunch of ways that women show interest to you, just passing by you on the street every day in your life. And there are probably women giving signals to you. You're just not either paying attention or recognize them as flirting, right? You see them and you're like, oh, that's not flirting. That doesn't mean anything. It's just because you're fucking insecure or you're uneducated, right? I can fix the uneducated part. But the... I know for a fact in my balls this is an approach invitation is only going to come once you test that list and then see it happen for yourself. And then in the future when you see it, you don't doubt it and you just – you work like this and you react instinctively. So I can give you a course, right, that has these explanations and then also I include – um, these PDFs. You can download them on your phone and literally have them as you're walking around and be on the lookout for girls giving you these signals. So I created these little cheat sheets. And you can get that from my Meet Girls Everywhere course. And then obviously there's more in the course. I actually teach you how to talk to girls uh, during the day, how to approach them, um, how to have a conversation, how to get their phone number. And then I also include my texting book for free in um, the purchase. So you'll get that for free um, because you're going to have to text girls after you ask them out. 
Uh, there's a lot of value in that course. So if you're interested in the Meet Girls Everywhere course or just my texting book, if you want to buy that alone, you can check out both in the description below. And you can also um, sign up for coaching if you are interested in a consultation call to see you know, the pricing and how it works and what we need to work on. Uh, we'll have a, I used to say 10 minutes, but usually we got to have a bit more of a conversation now. Um, so it's going to be, you know, maybe 15, 20 minute, maybe a 30 minute conversation on coaching. You can ask all your questions and we can see if it's right for you. Um, but in the meantime, you do need the education. Okay. But then you actually need to test if something was a sign or not and nothing beats getting experience. So. Don't be either of my clients, the guy who reads and watches videos but then rarely executes, or the guy who executes and has some success but is not operating at his highest level um, because he still has a little bit of pussy in his dick. But you got to get rid of all of it. So you're just cock. <laughs> you will be 100% purified cock when I am done with you. <laughs> That's a weird sentence that I probably never thought I'd say in my life and you probably never thought you would see it in a video or hear it. But you did. So, cool. Patrick Castillo, girlshace.com. Go fuck yourself. I love you. And I'll see you soon.